Bienvenidos a Preguntas con Chávez y Chávez, better known as Ask Chávez y Chávez. The Mr. Rick asks, Dear my gallant heroes Chávez y Chávez, where do I find my own chupacabra? Oh, Mr. Rick, you make me blush. Please stop it with the compliments. Now, on to your amazing question. The chupacabra is one of the most elusive and mysterious creatures in all of the animal kingdom. You have a better chance of playing checkers with Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster on a city bus than you do of ever even catching a glimpse of the chupacabra. You must even whisper its name when you say it. Chupacabra. Because if it hears you, it immediately flees into the rainforest and will also permanently block you on Facebook. The chupacabra is a very private creature. However, it is a creature, and like all creatures, it is imperfect and susceptible to vices, just like everything else. The chupacabra has an insatiable hunger that almost borders on lust for the taste of nacho cheese. And I don't mean fancy cheeses like Velveeta or the spray cheese that comes in the cans like the astronatos and the ancient Azteca I used to eat. No, no, no. The chupacabra only enjoys the lowest of the low-rent nacho cheeses, such as the ones sold from a pump at a gas station convenience stores, minor league baseball games, and rock concerts put on at fairgrounds by bands you have not heard of in at least 20 or 30 years. Last summer, at a Huey Lewis and the News concert at the Floyd County Fairgrounds in New Albany, Indiana, over 20 separate chupacabra sightings occurred in the time between the band's renditions of I Want a New Drug and their second encore performance of The Power of Love. That is the type of power the nacho cheese holds over the chupacabra. So, if I were you, Rick, I start hanging out at the nearest AM PM Mini Mart or start following Eddie Money this summer on his 20 stop whirlwind tour of roller rinks across this country. Be sure to get there early, not only to better your chance of seeing a chupacabra, but also to catch the opening act, Nelson. The original Nelson twins are no longer with the group, but they found two Filipino guys who sound just like them, and oddly enough, also have naturally beautiful long blonde hair. It's a pretty good show. Thanks for the question, Rick. And happy chupacabra hunting. Like this video and leave a question down below. If I answer it, you'll get a free pack of AFD stickers. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel because there's no better way to lure the elusive chupacabra than by becoming a loyal follower of AFT.